Alright guys, a full 17 days ago when I said I was taking a break, I did not expect to still be here without any battle for Zendikar. So I thought rather than uh, let the channel languish, I should, you know, bring it back online. I'm not going to be coming back to full daily content, but expect two to three videos a week of me just dicking around until Battle for Zendikar drops, because frankly, you know, i got to put something out there. So here we go, uh, Mega Beast has been working on a uh, teamer deck, blue, red, and green. I've got a variation of it. I'm not going to take you into the deck list, it's going to be kind of a little secret here, because he doesn't know uh, exactly what 60 I've got, but in honor of Mega Beast, I've called it Mega Beats. So there you have it. And we're going to take this deck into an online lobby, and hopefully our first one doesn't end off where the last video did, those fateful 17 days ago when I finally threw my hands up in the air and had enough. So, I mean, here we are searching, which is fine. It's when it gets to the connecting part that it's always a crapshoot. I did a brief stream recently, probably somewhere in the last week, I think. And uh, out of six games, I got into two with no hitch, and the other, the other four I had to back out of, so... Success rate is still pretty low, but like I said, if that happens after the first game, joining session, we got in. Yeah, and loading, perfect. So yeah, if that if that happens, then I'm just going to take my frustration elsewhere and just and just end the video. So uh, playing against, I got to brush up on my on my skills. I haven't recorded magic now in you know two and a half weeks, and I don't mean my magic skills, just what the fuck I used to talk about. So uh, I don't know, is this an elf deck? It's definitely go Gary. I think we're playing elves. Could be the control deck. God only knows. I don't know what people are playing online in the lobbies. I don't know if Xbox is even populous or not populous these days because I've played very, very infrequently, mostly just with friends over the past couple of weeks. So we'll see what uh, see what kind of random we can drag up. Harry Canyon 503 still getting the still getting the rank threes this deep into the game. At least he knows to play 60. And we're looking at two red sources, two green sources, and a blue. We do have an evolutionary leap and a turn three bounty crisis. Plus we do have the firecraft. On the play, we will keep that. Drop our guild gate and pass it over to Harry over there. So this deck is really, uh, it's got a lot of Thopter producers in it. We're playing the blue for Crassus, Whirler Rogue, and one secret card that I can't tell you unless I draw it, because Mega Beast isn't playing that one. So we're playing the Thopter creators, you know, the Whirler Rogue is three bodies, Chandra's parents are three bodies. That plays really nice with Evolutionary Leap to just sacrifice those Thopters and draw a bunch of cards. You know, we're playing, uh, so it's, it's kind of like a hybrid Gruul Monsters uh, deck because it's got Zendikar and Karnad in here. So it's Gruul Monsters, it's Thopters, it's it's interesting. But, uh, so we're playing against Golgari. Do I think we, we just got to play the leap here. You know, even though we don't have any creatures yet. He can't kill it on the second turn. I mean, if he just plays turn three Reclamation Sage, what are you going to do? But uh, Hopefully that won't happen. That's what we're going to say. Hopefully it won't happen. So, does he have a turn two play? No visionary, so we still haven't got a bead on what he's playing. And we picked up a visionary of our own. I got two choices here. I can hold open the Crassus, or I can play a visionary and draw a card with the evolutionary leap. I mean, I could put. I think. I think I'll put the pressure on. I'll just play the Crassus. The deck is called Mega Beats, and we got to play it that way. I got to stop. Uh, stop my dirtily ways. And just go for the throat with this deck. So if he plays a blocker, we'll flash in the grasses, tap it down, swing three. But we'll see. Make sure I got my mic muted here. Yeah, okay. Not the microphone for recording, but the one on my Xbox. I don't want this guy hearing everything I'm saying. So now, three mana. Is he going to do anything with it? He's in second main. I really want my whole priority back. No, he's going in step, so let's flash it in. Nothing for us to tap. So let's just uh, let's just swing for three here. See if he's got some way to kill it. So I'm actually going to put him on a flesh bag marauder, and what I'm going to do is play the visionary out to kind of protect against that. So let's play our land and play visionary. And leave up some green mana. Actually, I should have played the visionary first. I still could have left up the green. So if I draw a tap land here, I'm going to look like an idiot. No, it's Guy's Revenge. Okay. But yeah, just you know, shake the rust off. We'll get there. So let's see if he's going to well, flesh bag. He's probably not going to use it now. It is a Lissalana Huntmaster. I'm going to have to kill that thing. So. I'm just going to get rid of the 2-drop and start drawing some cards. I want, I want to draw into my bigger threats here. One point of damage is not all that much. Oh, we picked up a Nyssa. And 
And we get Evolving Wiles, but we have to kill that Huntmaster before it gets out of control. Unfortunately, that has to die. And we can't do anything else with our mana this turn, so we will just go fetch up an island. At least now we know he's on the elf deck. Although if he's anything like Barney, he's uh, he's playing a bad elf deck. Sorry, Barney. In for three more. Got the Evil Leap active if he has the removal. Pretty close to Nyssa, flipping over. Got Guy's Revenge, another Crassus. We're doing alright. I don't want to see another Huntmaster though. I really don't want to see another Huntmaster. It is a Winnower, which is not going to kill our dude. So there's an Outland Colossus here now. So again, I'm, well, I'm not putting him on Fleshbag anymore. I'm definitely not putting him on Fleshbag anymore. I've got six mana. I think I'm just going to hold open the Crassus. I'm going to swing first. See if he wants to trade. Okay, he's going to take the trade. Yeah, trade is fine. I pressed Y. Are, are we locked up here? Is the game frozen? He's got, I guess... <laughs> I guess he saw me pause the timer and he assumed I had a combat trick. I don't know. So the only problem is we've only got two sources of green mana, so Evil Leap is going to be offline here this turn. Well, that's fine. You know, we cleared the uh, we cleared the path for Outland Colossus by making that trade, and now we can tap down whatever he throws at us and then renown it. Unless he plays multiple creatures, which is a possibility. Gee, my plane, as soon as I play against the AI, the Corpse Holler comes out. Does anyone find that suspicious or what? The Elf deck magically draws a Corpse Holler? I don't know about this. I don't know about this at all. So yeah, the thing about Whirler Rogues, we can just drop this right now. It's basically like a Rogue's Passage. That creates a couple of Thopters for the Evo Leap. So, I think I'm going to flip over Nissa though. First. And I want to do that without spending any blue mana. So let's flip her over. Let's just see what we get here. So we might get a green land to keep our Evo Leap active. No, it's just it's a gate going in tapped. So we're gonna tap out for the rogue here. Get some bodies. Let's make this unblockable and, uh, and renown it. All right, things are looking up. Got an active planeswalker, we've got an uncontested evolutionary leap, we've got a 12 12 Colossus, a couple of flyers, revenge in hand, crisis in hand. Not too shabby, and we got what, eight, eight, nine mana? Eight mana on the battlefield. Sounds good. Here's the flesh, but he is playing flesh bag. Uh, I don't know, I think the AI took over and, and substituted out the deck. So uh, we're just gonna lose a Thopter here. I don't wanna lose this, because that'll. If I lose this Whirler Rogue, then he can attack Nissa and, and tick her down. Not that I think it really matters, but I'm planning to block here. Is he going face? Oh, you can have it all day long if it's face, brother. All day long. There's some more fodder for the Evo Leap, but we don't need it. I don't need to do this either, I don't know why I did. Just taking up a planeswalker is so satisfying. So we picked up PA and Karen, but we're just gonna flash in the crash flash it in. We're just gonna cast it. We cast it during our main phase, it's hardly flash. Absolutely, we will tap down the only blocker. And proceed to get fogged by the AI. Come on, AI have it. Have the fog. No? Oh that's right, it's only real players who play fog. My mistake. Alright, so I got some coins. I expected to have much more than 7,400 coins at this point in the game, but what are you going to do? I haven't been playing it a whole lot. So let's see. Let's see if we can go two for two. If the uh, if we can keep it alive, keep this channel alive and instead of making me rage quit again. 
that's essentially what I did. I rage quit my own channel just because I couldn't get into a game. And then I got wrapped up in Destiny. Still kind of wrapped up in it. I played for a few hours earlier today. Alright, game, we're searching. Okay. Waiting for other players to join the match. Here, here's, the, here's the bug, the issue. So if it says waiting for players to join the match and it stays on your screen for any longer than 0 0.2 seconds, you never connect. It's, it's a 0% chance. So you have to hit B, but then there's another waiting menu that we have to watch. And then finally, once this is over, we get to try again. And, you know, once you do this so many times in a row, it really tries your patience. And, uh, yeah, so eventually, like I said, I rage quit my own channel because of it. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. Now, I'm not going to take the channel dark again, but, you know, expect two to three videos a week at least until Battle for Zendikar drops. Hopefully the lack of news is a good thing. It means that they're actually not going to release this thing until they feel like they've got it fixed and working. Joining session. Okay, sweet. So, yeah, hopefully they manage to, uh, to fix it up and put... Put some stability back in the game. Get the IOS people playing. I think it's five weeks for those guys, which is utterly ridiculous. You know, to have an un you know a game unplayable for that period of time. I, I check in on the Reddit every now and then, and then there's a whole bunch of threads over there about people requesting re uh, refunds directly from Hasbro. I mean, you know, it's it's a bad spot over there. If you if you check out some of the dark news in those threads. So what do we got here? Some some lady key on her finger. Right down, Mrs. Ooh, rank 39, Stone Rex 187. Alright. And we have... Hey, here's my secret blue card. We have Guildgate, Sulphur Falls, Mountain, Engineer, P and Karen, Evil Leap. On the play. Sounds good. The question is, how do I want to sequence this? I don't want to play Evil. I want to play Sigil Starfish first. So I need to have blue mana. It's, it's really going to slow down my green mana, so... I'll play the Mountain. Because I'm, I'm going to play this next turn. So I won't show him the blue just yet. And let's see what this guy's up to. Black, what a surprise. Pretty much the strongest color in the game as of this point in time. Picked up another Sulphur Falls, so let's get the Starfish down. This is just going to help dig for pieces, and you know, if you top deck it late, you just sack it to leap and draw another card. You know, it's good in the early game to slow the opponent down. Scry for your better cards, and then. You know, it finds the Evil Leap, and then once you cast it, you can sack it because you don't need it anymore. So he's playing Demir. It's our turn. A Hinterland Harbor will not. Uh, we don't have a forest or an island. Sulphur Falls will, but I want to get green mana in play. So we'll just play the gate. Yeah, we'll play the gate. I mean, I could have played the Thopter Engineer this turn. But I think I just need to fix my mana a little bit. There's only seven tap la or six tap lands in this deck. Three gates, three evolving wilds. And there are the six check lands, of course, and we're hoping to get those. Uh... So let's scry here. We got mana. Uh, gate creeper. So we don't need any more mana. We can throw that to the bottom. Now watch me bottom a gate creeper and draw a land. But I'd, I'd almost rather that because it doesn't cost me two mana to play a land. Alright, we still don't have a forest or an island. So, but we can still drop the Hinterland Harbor. He's going to start milling us. I need to start attacking him. So I guess I do play Sulphur Falls into PN, Karen, here. Yeah, I think I have to. I think I have to put the power on the board. He's probably got the Languish, which would suck because I'm going to let my Evo Leap Shields down. So there comes the mill. Let's turn three tutelers. There goes my other evil leap, which is good. It's a pretty dead draw anyway. Once I've got the first one. And a firecraft, which I would have liked to have had. Let's see if he's playing green in there. To play the fogs. Doesn't look like it. Whoa, in step, I gotta. I gotta scry it in step. Land, go to the bottom. What have you got for me, top deck? Zendikar Incarnate. I think that's what we should be playing here. But first things first, let's swing with the team. Gotta be careful not to just press X and turn the O3 sideways, so we'll bring him back. See if he's got a Hydra Lash. 
Nothing yet. Now, against Languish, this is going to look really horrible. Against Languish, this is going to look really good. But we've only got one green source. So, I'm actually going to play this. And hope he doesn't have the Languish this turn. And then we can at least play Evo Leap and have a, a one, one activation. So... There's another couple of cards in the yard. What do we lose? Two lands. Not crying over that. I'd rather draw gas at this point. So we got nine power language, which would really fucking suck. But if I played Leap, since I only had one green source, I wouldn't have been able to activate it anyway, so. I want to put the pressure on. We got the second green source in play now. Plus we get the reach from uh, from this ability. So we do if we have six mana and those two thopters, is he playing a ring warden owl? We got one firecraft in the graveyard. Wouldn't mind finding the other one. But yeah, that's a little bit of reach there. Let's see what it is. Oh, firecraft. Just speaking of firecraft. Don't mind if I do. So let's blow that out of the way. And punch him for a large amount of damage. Again, Evo Leap does nothing here. So I think I'm going to play out Starfish. And hopefully untap with it and get to the, this point of double scrying. But we'll see. It's down to seven. Get a couple more cards on us. You got four that time. You got a Geyser Revenge, a Gatekeeper, a Rogue, and a Land. Now what have you got? He needs a Languish at this point, or, or some other type of Miracle play. Another good thing about the Starfish and uh, Evolutionary Leap is you can scry before you use your Leap, and if there's a creature on top that you don't want to draw, you can bottom it and hope for a better one. So a nice little bit of fun you can do there. No, he must not have the answer, because he's gone. So, you know, I really, Languish was the only thing that was going to punish us real hard there. And he didn't have it. You know, I think I might need to tweak the mana in this deck a little bit. I don't think I have enough green sources. So with the Gate Creepers, maybe I can uh, cut some of the blue and red a little bit. Most of the deck is... Is this, is this real? AI takes over. Corpse Holler comes out. What the fuck? I mean, I guess he was playing Ring Warden Owl before, so I can't say this was a real mill deck, but... Like, holy Jesus, man, two games in a row. AI take over, followed by Corpse Holler. Let's bottom that. That's, that's absolutely fucking insane. Absolutely insane, but... How much damage do we have here? How much damage? Uh... I wonder what, what he could have. I mean, I can throw two in the air. Yeah, he has to block the 5-4. And then I can throw the damage from P and Karen at him. I got the 6 land to do that twice. So he activates his Corpse Holler. Okay, this is good. That means he doesn't have a spell, so now I can just not worry about it. Alright, so let's just uh, choose a creature or player to deal 2 damage 2 to the face. Sack that. Let's do it again. I don't know why it wants to deal damage to my own artifacts. Like this game sometimes. Like the auto targeting and stuff. I have no idea what's going on. Anyways, guys, good to be back. Don't know when I'll see you again, but I'll, I'll at least try to keep it semi regular until the Battle for Zendikar drops. In the meantime, uh, try out the Mega Beats deck, or you know, I didn't show you the list, but maybe you can try to cobble something together and let me know in the list. That, you know, you can thank Mega Beats first, and then uh, and let me know what you came up with in these colors out of the cards that you saw. Thanks, guys, for watching, and we'll see you next time.